Greetings, my name is Piero, and welcome back to the Neon Slice. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the SSS rank in the castle section of the Mercenaries mode in Resident Evil Village. We start off by selling our shotgun and sniper rifle ammo, as well as our first aid mats, and then we proceed to upgrading the handgun, and uh, yeah, so do exactly as I do here. Uh, it's really important to upgrade the handgun, uh, especially rate of fire. Uh, you should have enough money to upgrade its ammo capacity up to 20 and everything else just max it out but yeah uh, this is going to be a longer one because the castle is a bit longer and a bit more difficult uh, but yeah we start off here pretty straightforward if you've played this uh, level before you should know where to go but yeah there's that guy the armored guy so you actually have to trigger him so that's why I kinda walk next to him a little bit so he wakes up um, yeah but it's this this section the first area is pretty straightforward uh, just keep in mind uh, that there's that guy chasing you down so try to save some enemies as per usual if you haven't watched my my previous video on this I teach you how to uh, keep your combo going because that is how you get the SSS uh, rank to get the lightsaber uh, you need to get the combos and get a lot of points basically and you do that by you know maintaining your combo so yeah uh, I basically just put down a mine there and I threw a pipe bomb and since I have a really good pistol I can just gun him down and uh, please take the money the 3000 Lee he drops and then and then everything else is pretty straightforward um, you saw me there shooting the barrel uh, do that but from a distance. But yeah, we're gonna move on here. Shoot that guy on the ground. Keep going forward. Shoot this person through the s through the bars. Go back and grab everything. As I'm going, I'm grabbing everything that I can. Uh, you will miss some things though, but that's okay. Uh, just grab as much as possible. Uh, I prioritize the lower health enemies since they take you know less time to kill, so I can keep going my combo turn around get the thingy so the things that you need to prioritize are pistol ammo and but pistol master sorry but especially combustible corpses I believe it's called uh, the one that explodes enemies when you kill them that is the most important one uh, but uh, magic magazine is also pretty good uh, agile for your speed for your running speed or the knife the knife running with your knife out one that's also very important but yeah that's pretty straightforward that's area number one for the castle section let's move on to area number two as always we're gonna be picking up everything on the table every single uh, item you see uh, and we're gonna then proceed to fully upgrading the Lemmy handgun again this is a mostly pistol only run uh, I'm sure there are better ways to do this, but yeah. Uh, sell all your ammo, all of your shotgun ammo, all of your sniper ammo, except for the handgun and the lan the Lemmy uh, handgun the and, and its ammo. So I'm going to fully upgrade it here. It's maxed out, and yeah, we can get started with area number two. We start off by going straight forward uh, and then to the right while we're in the hallway here while grabbing the 30 handgun ammo uh, and then we take out all the enemies here uh, again try to time it correctly so uh, you don't lose your, your combo which is the most important thing in this playthrough uh, get the blue ball um, here I get the assassination dash because that's a movement uh, thingy as an option but I'm actually gonna go with no-brainer for this run to deal more damage to the head. That's also a good pick uh, for the vampires, uh, the vampire girls, the, the whatever you want to call them, uh, Dimitrescu's uh, daughters. But yeah, uh, kill that person, kill this other one. And then we go down here and get the golden orb. It isn't necessary because how I do these things, I get, it, I get, I get enough time. But yeah, you 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 wanna get you wanna get the golden orb to be more sure um, but yeah I uh, take out these guys and then proceed on to the right here go back to the hallway more enemies will spawn don't be scared of, of the soul that but be mindful that you have to hit his chest pretty much 100% of the time 
otherwise you you lose too much time the lycan also should be a priority otherwise he will run at you and grab you um, there's about six lycans here that uh, spawn um, through this whole doorway I actually forgot about that so I actually get grabbed but it's okay I'm showing you that you can make mistakes and still get the SSS rank so that's that's fine as long as we keep a good rhythm um, there's some enemies that spawn here in this area behind me sometimes I'm not too sure but yeah just just try to sit there for a second while these lichens uh, rush at you because you don't you don't you don't want to miss any enemy yeah, as you can see right there behind me by the painting of the three daughters on your way out of the castle while the lichens are running at you uh, just remember that to, to turn around and, and kill those uh, the hooded enemies but yeah uh, this is pretty straightforward they literally just come right after you so and then turn around and there'll be more hooded enemies here by the entrance of the castle there's another one there that just decided to hide making me waste time but it's fine you know we can we can uh, also get 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 very used to blocking because that is a very useful mechanic in the mercenaries mode but yeah take out this guy and then get the golden orb I then turned around and killed another batch of enemies there should be at least three um, they spawn twice I believe uh, just just remember to keep an eye out on that area but yeah shoot the barrel here that should give enough time for the soul that to come up and get hit by it also don't accidentally hit the goal um, I've done that <laughs> before I don't accidentally hit the yellow thingy um, but yeah these are the last two enemies and yeah pretty uh, pretty straightforward you can shoot his arm and then he gets stunned so don't don't be scared just because he takes zero damage just yeah just just shoot him grab their money please you need the money <laughs> you need the money for uh, the sniper rifle but yeah grab the blue thing uh, assassination dash for sure you need that speed uh, assassination dash makes you run faster with your knife out but yeah and that's area number two uh, for the castle area Seeking something. and after grabbing everything off the table once more we sell all of our shogun ammo all of our meds we don't need meds because we'll get uh, some some HP absorption abilities, whatever you want to call it. I, I forgot what it's called, but yeah. Uh, buy the sniper rifle. Area number three is a must with the sniper rifle. I like upgrading its firepower at least once, but. Uh, and the ammo capacity, it's very important to upgrade the ammo capacity because you don't have to reload if you have a lot of ammo in, in the magazine. So yeah, I basically use the sniper rifle when I'm about to run out of my combo. Uh, run out of time for my combo, or when I I just really really need to land those headshots on the vampires, uh, on the vampire girls, um, especially if you have no brainer, uh, that deals a ton of damage. But like I said, you want to have um, explosive corpses when uh, if you get the chance. That that is the best thing you can get. Yeah, get the blue thing. Turn around here. Do not kill the enemy in this dining room. Okay. Uh, don't kill the enemy in the zone, then instead walk into the main hall and kill this one that comes out of the, the ground and get the golden orb. We're gonna have to save the gold, the uh, the enemy in the dining room because otherwise we'll run out. So this is the first um, vampire girl. You don't need the sniper for it. I recommend it. Hit your headshots, but yeah, you can just gun her down with your handgun. Really no problem, as you can see here. They give you enough lichens to uh, save your combo, so you should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Should be everything, everything, fun, everything's okay. And then there's another one that spawns there for no reason. But yeah, that's um, pretty much that's pretty much how you deal with that. Um, and and this is where you get this enemy that we left in the dining room to save our combo. You can equip your sniper rifle here and shoot the girl in the head if you really want to. Uh, it deals a ton of damage, but then again, if you have explosive corpses here, just kill a lichen and hopefully it'll explode and she'll take half health of damage. But please do not walk into the dining room because otherwise this will happen again. Uh, <laughs> the enemies just kind of think you're uh, leaving, so they de-aggro. 
So yeah, try to stay outside in the in the by the uh, the courtyard. Uh, take out all the lichens. After you take out the last lichen, the the gargoyle people will spawn. You have to be quick and kill these guys because they they, they fly around everywhere, and <laughs> it'll make you lose your combo. But yeah, you you need to take out all three of them, I believe. Uh, I'm taking. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you take here, but if you get explosive corpses, pistol, pistol expert, walk in here, take a ride, okay, in the piano room, there's another blue ball here, uh, take out all the enemies, uh, remember the staircase though, for later on, um, but yeah, no brainer, it's pretty good, headshots, but not necessary, um, there will be a panzer soldat here, uh, a jet soldier, I believe his name is. Um, he is intimidating, but you don't need a uh, you don't need a a pipe bomb or anything. But if you happen to have one, use it <laughs> on him. But yeah, as you, you you're gonna see me here, I'm just gonna I'm just treating him like a regular soldier. He's he just has the same amount of health. He just looks more intimidating because he's got horns. But yeah, if you run out of time, kill the enemies. Uh, just always keep an eye on your on your combo. I do believe the combo runs out after 10 seconds. Uh, don't quote me on that though. The game is still pretty new, so we're still all learning. So after we take out everyone here, go up the stairs and take out the enemies very quickly, because uh, this area is a bit uh, punishing, because you can get stunned by the uh, the arrow guys here. Try to save as much time as possible. Uh, if you have your knife ability, take your knife out. As soon as you kill this person, get the golden orb, run back to the stairs from upstairs, from the top area. Don't forget to go to the right, there's an enemy here. Uh, she'll ambush you. There's another one in the staircase, in the middle of the staircase, and yeah, we're good. After that, we walk into the final boss room here with the final girl. I shoot her in the head with my sniper. I have no brainer and she pretty much goes down immediately with those abilities that's why you need that sniper rifle it's also a lifesaver though if you're running out of your combo you can just one shot pretty much anything with that uh, but yeah and then that's it after you kill the vampire all of the other enemies just kinda spawn in and you're done pick up all the pick, pick up all of the money that you can please and then that's gonna be area number two done so we're gonna get on with area number three next. And as always we pick up everything off the table to sell it except the handgun bullets but if you have enough if you need some spare money you can sell the handgun bullets as well. But yeah sell the first aid med, sell all of your shotgun ammo, we don't use that here we just need our trusty pistol sell of the sniper rifle ammo if you want you can keep five I like keeping five just as a precaution but you pick up you pick it up during your playthrough you don't you don't really need to save but yeah max out the sniper rifle <laughs> this really there really isn't anything else to do with the with your money uh, but yeah uh, I like upgrading the power to the max and the, the ammo capacity and then uh, if you want you can buy pipe bombs and the mines uh, they're very useful to get you out of sticky situations, especially when there are either vampires or um, the soldats that are armored. Um, but yeah, uh, let's get on with area number three here. Uh, we start off in the main hall with a soldat coming after us. Um, if you shoot him with your rifle, he uh, immediately goes down. But yeah, he put his arm up for me. But yeah, um, yeah, prioritize taking him out, but do not lose your combo even if it's a one combo uh... you can still get your sss as rank uh... without getting all of the combos uh... but ideally you wanna keep it uh, maxed out until the end um, yeah yeah there's gonna be another enemy here um, yeah, pretty much pretty pretty straightforward they got all these enemies the armored lycan he's not a big deal just shoot him in the head he loses his helmet and he just becomes a regular lycan um, and yeah, after that just keep going and um, we'll find the first location to Angie. Before you stab Angie in the head, kill one of the fire people so you keep your combo going. Um, stabbing Angie in the head actually stops the timer on the combo. 
So you you will not run out of time if you stab the, the doll on the head. Um, but yeah, there would be a soldat right behind you, so back off. Very carefully, old textbook. It doesn't matter if you get hit once, though. Uh, more fire people will spawn in this area, so be careful. Do not just walk out. Uh, as always, uh, use this guide as a sort of counting of the enemies. Um, but yeah, uh, you can mess up. It's it's fine. I messed up too, but it's okay. It gives you room for error. Um, not too much, though. <laughs> but yeah, as, as long as you keep your combo going, you should be okay. And there, you, there we go. The final soul dance. With your pistol, it's just incredible how much damage this thing can deal. But yeah, um, after that, we uh, we can keep going up, and there will be another enemy to help with our combo. There's another enemy right there on, on the stairs. Um, you can save that one to help you out during the first section of this, but I don't, I don't need it. Kill that one. So you need to walk down this hallway and grab the item to trigger this lichen. So, yeah. I put down a mine here as a sort of precaution because this area is where most runs get killed. As soon as you kill that one, run, run as fast as you can and stab the doll in the head. Um, with your sniper in hand, during the cutscene, this cutscene, equip your sniper and look out the balcony here. There'll be some arrow guys. Take them out as soon as you can. And yeah, there'll be another soul that here coming down the hallway. Um, yeah, um, it's pretty textbook. Um, this is probably the, the most difficult part of this entire castle area. Um, like I said, uh, sniper is kind of a lightsaber, so, um, you're gonna actually see me here mess up. I went the wrong way, but with the sniper in hand, I can take out the, the, uh, the, 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 the fake dead enemy there. But yeah, after that, just walk straight forward into this hallway there's another one there's another fake one I guess I don't know what their names are called but yeah I actually missed an enemy behind me by the painting of the daughters there don't make the same mistake as me uh, turn around here before these lichens and kill them they'll be on the ground faking their death uh, but yeah I'm gonna show you that you can still you can still get the thing and get the SSS as rank with, with by missing an enemy um, I mean your your combo. Y you can miss the last combo, I believe. I'm not too sure, but yeah, I'm gonna continue here. Um, <laughs> yeah, killing the bird can be a bit difficult, but you absolutely have to. It's better to do it with the pistol. Wait for your crossers to be a dot, to be 100% accurate. So round down here, kill all the fire people. For some reason, they're on fire. I'm not sure why, uh, but yeah. This is also another difficult area. Um, do not shoot the doll, by the way. I don't know if I've said that before, but do not shoot the doll at all. Just go after her and stab her in the face. And that will be the final location for Angie, right next to the goal. Um, by now, you should have 44 combo or more. I suggest um, blocking here immediately as soon as you come out of the cutscene because you'll be surrounded. Um, yeah, um, there you have it. Um, more enemies will have spawned, and at some point there'll be a soldat. I, th I believe there's two soldats after this, but yeah, use these enemies to kind of keep your combo going while you kill the soldats. Um, I didn't do that. I just kind of kept kept going. But yeah, this guy is armored, which means explosion. Kill him. Do as m do as fast as you can because this guy is a tank and a half as you can see I <laughs> I missed one which was the one uh, enemy by the painting I immediately turned around and went for it I could have saved the combo here with a sniper rifle but yeah I just kinda I don't know I kinda went for it with the pistol but as you can see I did it 54 out of 54 enemies 1,588,000 score I believe that's how much you need to get the SSSS rank, to get the lightsaber, stay tuned for the island playthrough, and uh, yeah, please subscribe and check out my uh, my previous video uh, on the mercenaries, and uh, yeah, check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv/neonslice. Two million.
for SSSS rank. Wow, crazy. Anyway, bye.